So I want to have a quick, quick discussion about our favorite meddling marsupial, Crash Bandicoot himself, and our purple boy, Spiral the Dragon. So, Beanox really just just released the Spider Dragon Grand Prix for Crash Team Racing, and I'm having fun with it. Now, there are some good things, a lot of good things about this Grand Prix, and yeah, I know the game had a bit of controversy recently with the ability to buy Wampa Coins and the Nitro Gauge situation where you can fill that up after the Grand Prix has ended, but that's not important right now. So the Spider Dragon Grand Prix so far has been a lot of fun for me, and I got Spider Dragon as quickly as I could. I went straight for that purple boy. I needed him. He's amazing. Yes, he's a speed character. I could care less about that, but I know some people, some people that is very important to them, and if that's what you want to do, do your thing. Play the game the way you want to play. I got no problem with that. Uh, personally, for me, he could have been any, any uh, character class in the game, and I would have been happy with him. But hey, I guess it makes sense. I mean, he, he's a dragon, and he's the main character of the Grand Prix. And I'm not 100% certain, but so far, I think every main Grand Prix character has been a speed character. Now, I'm not 100% certain on that, so... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, like I was saying, the Spider Dragon Grand Prix is pretty nice. I mean, the main menu alone has been redone for Spider Dragon himself. On the main menu, I'd show you some footage, but I don't have any recorded. And, I don't know. It's a PlayStation 4 game. Well, actually. My copy's on the PlayStation 4, but the game is out on the Switch and the Xbox and all that good stuff. See if it ever comes to the PC. I don't see that happening. Would be nice, but yeah, probably not happening. But anyway, back to the Spire of the Dragon Grand Prix, right? So, along with Spire of the Dragon himself, we got Hunter and Nasty Nork. Now, I personally would have preferred to get at least one or two more Spider Dragon characters. But it seems that Grand Prix going forward will be three, three, three characters each. So, unless that changes, it could not be that way for every single one, but back in time with three characters, Spyro Circuit, or Spyro Grand Prix, whatever you want to call it, three characters, the only one that was more than three was Nitro Tour. And that might have only been because they really wanted to get the Nitro Squad, a.k.a. the original Trophy Girls, into the game as playable characters, which, I, that's amazing. I love that you can play as them. And, yeah, Tana's there too. That's alright. But hey, as far as I'm concerned, as long as we got Amy in the game, I'm happy. <laughs> but, that's beside the point. So, Spyro... And, well, it's the Spyro and Friends Grand Prix is what it's called. And, I'm, for the time being, I'm going to ignore the other issues just for the sake of keeping things on track. So, Spyro, Hunter, or National Arc, or who we got? I would have liked to get Bianca, Ripto, and Elora. Elora? I don't know if I'm saying her name right. But you, you see what I'm getting. I would like to get at least those three. But again, it seems like three characters per Grand Prix. Maybe there'll be another Spyro Grand Prix if the game lasts into another year. Which I hope it does. I really hope it does. Because I love Crash Bandicoot. I love Crash Team Racing. I've played nearly every Crash game ever made. With only a couple of exceptions. I just love the franchise. And it's a great series. Now, I do love some of the games that other people hate. And in this Grand Prix, we received the uh, Mutant Coco and the Mutant Crunch skins for Mind Over Mutant. I understand why some people don't like that game. Personally, I loved it. But I totally see why some people didn't like it. It's fully understandable if you don't. 
It did change a lot of things. And some of the things it changed gameplay wise, I wasn't happy with either. I preferred the original spinning mechanic, not so much the punching and kicking and brawling, but overall I did enjoy the game. I liked what they did with the cutscenes, whatever, I'm getting off topic. So, Spyro also came with his very own racetrack, the Spyro Circuit. And I'm sure you've probably, if you're watching this, you've probably seen other people's videos on it. But Wampa Fruit is replaced with gems. There's the crates are replaced with treasure chests. There are even firework crates on the track. Which I haven't seen anyone talk about that yet. Maybe they have, but I haven't seen anyone talk about it. So the firework crates are kind of like a TNT crate. Except the moment you hit them, boom, you blow up. So... They're, they're, they're in the middle of the track in a couple of places. I think there's like two or three of them on the track. At least two, I believe. And it's an interesting concept that they're adding some new gameplay mechanics to the game. Because these firework crates were non-existent in any other track. Um, there's never been a hazard that just blows you up like that. There's been a lot of different hazards in these games. Fire, electricity, things that can just completely smush you up. But this is kind of new. The firework trap, very interesting. And we'll have to wait and see if they do others. Perhaps if they do a Halloween update, we could get a bat version of it. Say you hit a crate and bats swarm all over you. Well, that's an interesting idea. I'll we'll have to see if they do something like that. I don't think they will. This is probably just a one-off thing for the spiral circuit. We'll see how that goes. And moving right along. Hunter. Hunter in the game, his victory animation, pulls his bow, and presumably hits a chicken. I'm not really sure, but he hits something. He got a nice little animation at the end. Uh, I'm still working on walking some of the other stuff. But, I have to say, I don't really... I mean, I would rather the mutant Coco and mutant Crunch skins actually be called mutant instead of evil. Yeah, technically it made them evil, but they were being mind controlled by Cortex and mutated via the NV. If you ever played Mind and Movement, you would know what that is. If you haven't, it's a mind control device that basically turns you into a uh, were bandicoot or something. You know, something like that. Bandicoot werewolf? I don't know what you call that. I guess you call that were bandicoot. But for once, one of Cortex's plans that almost worked. Anyway, Spyro, I will say I have not played every single Spyro game. Only the original when I was a kid, and in the Reignite trilogy I have played the two others. And, well, I actually did play a little bit of the second one via the cheat code in the original Crash Team Racing, which allowed you to play a demo of Spyro the Dragon 2, I think. Was it Spyro the Dragon 2? I believe the demo was for Spyro 2. Ripto's Rage, yeah, so it was a demo for Spyro 2. And yeah, it, it would have been great to get other Spyro characters, and who knows, maybe later down the line. I'm a little disappointed we didn't get those other three, but hey, it is what it is. Now, I guess I should have mentioned what I think of the Wampa Coins now. So, Wampa Coin payouts online are fine. They're you get plenty for playing online. Playing offline, you don't get enough. Well, uh, yeah, you basically don't get enough. Now, for certain tracks, you'll get a payout of, I think, 60 to 80 Wampa Coins, which is okay. But when you play online, you can get, like, 360 or uh, 380 or maybe even 600 on some tracks. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. So, I'm not too upset about the Wampa Coin thing. It's kind of annoying. In my mind, it's not as big of an issue as other things. It's not... I mean, it is technically a microtransaction system because you can buy the Wampa Coins. And personally, I'd rather you just earn Wampa Coins faster. But I also understand that the game... See, my thing is, I like to see a game last. I played a few games in the past that had a DLC 
things of that nature. And if it wasn't for that DLC, which usually came in the range of five, ten dollars, sometimes twenty dollars if it was something bigger. If it, without that DLC to other games release, they couldn't last. They need new constant updates to continue. Now I totally understand why some people are mad about this, but at the same time, I do think there's been some overreaction. Then again, it's the internet, people overreact to everything. I know that from experience, I've done it too, we all have. Well, I think most people have anyway, and I know I have. Now, the Wampa Gauge, being able to fill it up after the Grand Prix ends by paying for it with Wampa Coins, yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine. As long as it doesn't bump you up in the leaderboards to get the champion card. Now, I don't have the champion card. I could care less about it. Because there's plenty of other cards in the game. Now, it is a nice looking card. It's a Lamborghini. And, you know, Lamborghini is real nice. But, even though I've been playing since the PlayStation 1, I know I'll never get in the top 5%. But, I'm also not mad about that. There's so much other content in the game. I don't really care if I never get that card. It's kind of like how, um, even in the original game, I never got Dr. Entropy. Well, not without cheat codes. <laughs> um, everything else, I can breathe through most of it. With a couple exceptions. But, I don't know, I, I love the Crash Bandicoot games. I like to go on forever talking about these things. Long story short, Sprite of Dragon, I love the fact that he's in the game. I really love the fact that they changed up the main menu to, well look good for Spyro. How he pops up on the main menu, how you got the little gems there. That's amazing. I love that. It's a nice little touch. The Spyro circuit track, very fun. I don't think it has any shortcuts. And it's mostly a gimmicky thing in some ways, but I've raced on it a few times. It's a nice track. has one issue where if you get hit by something that slows you down in a certain area of the track, it's because the track's kind of bumpy. It's hard to get your speed back up. And I've been hit by numerous weapons in that area, sometimes in the course of one race. But hey, what you gonna do? The game is chaotic. There's stuff blowing up everywhere. That, that's how it's supposed to be played. So yeah, I'm happy Spider and Dragons in it. And not angry about the microtransactions. Not excited about them, but I don't see it being a major issue with this game. I just don't. Now, if it was something truly egregious, that's another story. I've played other games that have done that and given up on them. Star Wars Battlefront 2, I wouldn't even buy that until they fixed the progression, which they did, and I bought that after they fixed the progression. And then there was, I played Payday 2 back in the day, and that had a major microtransaction scandal at one point. Now, I sort of defended them and sort of didn't back when that happened. Looking back at it, yeah, it was a dumb move on their part, but that's a totally different game, completely different animal. Yeah. Maybe I'll talk about that game sometime. But, <laughs> yeah, I've got a history of that game. The Crash Team Racing, Crash Bandicoot, i got an even bigger history of that, with, with that whole series. I remember playing back in the original games. They were some of the best things ever. I love them. Oh, and... <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know about the Crash Bandicoot cartoon intro until recently. If you've never seen that, look it up. It, it, it is pretty cool. Alright, well, that's just what I think of it. If you got any other thoughts on Crash Team Racing, what your opinions on the microtransactions are, uh, well, that's something... That's a different situation. But, Spyro Dragon Grand Prix, anything you got to say about the Spyro Dragon the Grand Prix, I'm interested to have a discussion about that. And if you enjoy these types of videos and talking about things like Crash Bandicoot, Star Wars, whatever, uh, leave a like, comment, and, you know, enjoy your stay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Like I said, keep them... <laughs> oh, man, I was almost saying keep the helmets flying. <laughs> but that's 
That would be Payday 2. No, no, Crash Bandicoot. Uh, yeah, keep 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 those turbos going, or something. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going with that. All right, see you around.